So we're back for another Pogo Gals. Hi Dee. Good to Dee. be here, Amy. Good to be here. Looking forward to another session. Yeah, of Disagree with D. Oh, I disagree with Anne. I think Disagree with D sounds better. It's got a kind of a ring. It does. D D. <laughs> yeah, that's right. D D. Yeah. The D D session. But we, we've thought a few times we've been chatting about different things golf wise which obviously we do a lot um, and we've decided that there's a few things that we do disagree on so we're going to call some of these segments disagree with D just because it sounds good yeah. and I don't think it's right or wrong it's just yeah. a different approach a different exactly. perception and a good way to maybe discuss it and see what you think so the topic for today was should you or should you not put the line on the ball when you're putting See the lines here? Some yep. players have a line all the way around. All the way around, yeah. And I'm a massive advocate for the line on the ball, and D is not so much. So, D, why don't you like the line on the ball? I'm only talking for personal reasons why I don't like the ball, the line on the ball, because some people are linear, and if you're a linear person, you like the line. And most people are linear. Some people are non-linear. That's me. What does that mean? A bit, bit creative and a bit... bit creative, you know. <laughs> So, so it, well, you'd feel too constricted by that line or you'd feel put well, off by no, that line? what would happen is if I put the line down and I wanted to aim at the hole and I'd be back there lining it up and yeah. I'd be sure it was fine, yeah. and then I'd get over the ball and I would go, and I was an extremely good putter, i go, oh my God, oh my God, it's wrong, it's wrong, yeah. I don't feel I've comfortable. heard that a lot actually, uh, I've heard that a lot. So yeah. what I, I, I tried that for about... Mm, the first six months on tour mm -hmm. and then I gave up on it mm. and my putting in, for me my putting improved yeah but for most people I think a line is really good so mm. I just have a blank space yeah I line yeah. my putter yeah and I go I'm very and much I a think there person. is a percentage of people that it doesn't work for but I think there's a greater percentage of people that it does work for I agree. because it's kind of like cheating it's the only place where you can actually draw a guide Absolutely. on the ball to show you and come around behind obviously you've got to come around behind don't whatever you do put it down like this yep. and look like this because your eyes are on an angle and you won't be able to tell if it's yep. straight or not so you have to come around behind eyes have to be level and you have to put the line down that way and to me it's just kind of like cheating that they, they even let you do it because yep. it's the you're putting a guide right there yep. that tells you where to aim whether they haven't stopped it really yeah um, I it think is. it's because, uh, you know, I think it, it's really great for a higher handicapper as well. Yeah, yeah. But I think the most important thing... some of the thing, pros use it. Uh, the pros <laughs> use it a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> I would say probably 70% of pros use it. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's really important, though, um, not to take forever getting the line. Yeah, true, you know, I gotta, true. Yeah. You can oh, get into a good on. routine, though, yeah, can't you, absolutely. where you're fairly quick. But just to address what you said about how you go to all the trouble, you put it down, you come around and you go, oh... That doesn't look right, and I hear that an awful lot. Yeah. That's actually not in your case because you're a good putter, but the average golfer, if you do that, if you come around and you go, oh, that doesn't look right, that's a sign that you're out of whack and you're not lining it up correctly, and that's why the line is so helpful. Yeah. Always trust the line because if you've put it down with your eyes level behind, there's a 99% chance that it's more correct than it is when you come around here when your eyes are not level. So I would always trust the line if you can. Some people find that too off-putting, yep. and that's fine. I think it just depends, but I think yeah. it's a huge advantage to have it, especially if you're a linear person, and most people are. Yeah. I think the other important thing is that once we decide on the line, make sure you're lining your line up where you want to go, not at the hole. Exactly, exactly. Yep. So if it's breaking left to right, you're going to aim left of where you think. And yep. it, it, it's, there's a bit of feel involved in that, but to me, it just gives you a little bit of extra help because, as I said, when you're over the ball and your eyes are at an angle, it's very hard to well, line up. We're beginning to agree again. Because well, I'm thinking, if that's the line, and where's my putter? Oh, oh my putter's over there. <laughs> my putter I've had since <laughs> 1981. Oh, really? Shall I just go get my Go and get it. We can I'll cut I'll this bit out. You. I'm just checking that, because we're on the 12th at Bonnie Doon anyway, we're checking that no one's. No one's played this hole for no, ages. I think they see us and then they, <laughs> they go so somewhere else. So you can else. see here we've got the line. I just thought then the other huge advantage, thank you Annie, is that when I line my putter up to that, I'm simply making sure my putter is perpendicular to the line. Yeah. So now I have a square putter face as well. Yeah. So rather than the putter face being open or closed, yeah. it's just at yeah. right angles to that line. Yeah. So it's not only lining that up, it's going to help you yeah. get your club face square. Yeah. 
So it's, it's so helpful in lots of ways. Has, yes, I'm being swayed now. <laughs> well, that's good because in the hybrid disagreement, I think I got swayed. Yeah. So we're at one even. I'm one still just going to use the blank bin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And look, work. use what works for you. Yeah, but if exactly. you've never tried the line before, definitely give it a go. Mm. Particularly great for short putts. You wouldn't really worry about it much on the longer putts. You can do it out of habit because, you know, that's, that's a what, good habit. It's a good habit yeah. But you'll find it much more helpful yep. on the short putts. And hold. you'll hold more short putts if you line up of, correctly. there's some tools out there that help you line up as well isn't yeah it? So there is there's, there's a there's a thing called a line up and yep. it actually is a marker that extends the line out oh, to make wow. a really long visual is that the one you were telling me about that you saw in the expo yes at the pga ah, show brand new week. product so wow. it extends the line on the board down onto the ground so you've got a fantastic visual of where to line up so that's it so i'll put a link that. to that it might work for you Dean. i might get it at cost <laughs> <laughs> might do your deal. Do me a deal. <laughs> All I've right. got a deal for you. <laughs> so this has been Disagree with Dee, uh, but I don't think we are anymore. No, we're not disagreeing. <laughs> Bye for now from Pro Golf Gal. Bye for now. Bye. Look forward to seeing you soon. Hey, you know, I was thinking we should have like a, we should have a catchphrase. We should. You know what we should have? This is what I reckon we should have. Commit to every shot. Yes, I like that we should have commit to every shot. So at the end of each thing we go, bye for now. Don't forget to commit to every shot. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. We should, say, should we say it at the same time? And, yes. And don't forget, commit don't to forget every shot. To commit to every Can shot. Can we say it at the same time successfully? Oh, yeah. Just do it, a bye for now from Pro Golf Gals. I'll put this on at the end and cut yeah. the other one off. Yeah, okay. Right. Are you okay. ready? <laughs> what are we saying? <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye from Pro Golf Gals. And don't forget, Commit to every shot. It just shows we're not really, we're just <laughs> natural. Okay, here we go. It's so natural. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, here okay. we go. All right, so bye from Pro Golf Gals and bye. don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you say, why don't you say bye for now and then I'll say bye Good for one. now. Okay. Well, I'll say bye for now and you can say don't forget to commit to. Bye for now, don't forget to commit. Yeah, you say I'll bye, say bye, for, bye now for now Pro Golf Gals <laughs> and I say don't forget get to commit to, to every shot. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so bye for now from Pro Golf Gals. And don't forget, <coughs> commit to every shot. We need to do that again because I've got, <coughs> I've got, <coughs> <coughs> just start again. Okay. So bye for now from Pro Golf Gals. And don't forget, commit to every shot. <laughs>